Welcome, Libra. It's another year, another prediction. Didichi here from astrology.com.au. Happy New Year for all of you born under the sign of the scales. <clears throat> You'll see here a very sparse horoscope indeed. Normally I have all of the planets here, but because we're looking briefly at the coming 12 months, I wanted to single out these three planets to give us an understanding of the the primary energies that are going to underpin what's happening uh, for the rest of the year. Three important transits. The first one of Saturn here, the constrictive planet, the planet of tests, trials and tribulations, moving into the sixth house. The sixth house has to do with your work, co-workers, health, your, uh, your daily planning and scheduling. Also has to do with enemies, that sort of thing. Pluto here moving into this fifth house of creative impulse, children, love affairs on March 23. I'm on there. And then Jupiter here, the expansive planet <coughs> moving into <coughs> your eighth house. So here we see the process of expansion, understanding this eighth house relating to shared resources, the money of other people, your partner's money, intimacy, abstracted by this fifth house, Pluto. Now, Pluto's transformative in the deepest, <coughs> the deepest sense. It's not about changing your partner if you're not happy with your love life. It's about changing your attitude to your partner. It's about finding meaning in what you're doing through this fifth house mechanism, fifth house relating to the process of creativity, getting into the zone, as we say, finding that sweet spot, that activity, that situation that gives you great focus and inner concentration and peace. That, I think, is the number one thing for you this year. If you can get this principle right, then <clears throat> this eighth house of intimacy, love, sexuality, your ability to expand and feel wholesome in that area of your life is less challenged by the right angle of Pluto. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> And so this, I think, is the primary area. We notice that Saturn is going to cause trouble in your health if these parts of your life are obstructed. So this is the primary area, the, the necessity of opening up your heart, finding that creative sweet spot, expanding your intimate moments with the one you love. And that then relieves you of this Saturnian influence, which is the, as I said, the planet of trials and tribulations. Um, one good thing about Saturn here is your the conquest of enemies. What they say is the malefic planets, such as Saturn, in this <clears throat> sixth house, give you the opportunity to overcome your competitors. So throw your hat in the ring if there's something you'd like to go for. Go for broke, I say. And you will find that uh, this planet supports you in that respect. As far as your health is concerned, as far as relationships with co-workers, employees, that needs a lot of work. That's why I keep coming back to these two principles as being the, the edifice of what you need to make those relationships far more constructive and easy to manage. <coughs> Western astrologers say that this sixth house is the house of debt. So having Saturn here is good in that it curtails that debt. It puts the brakes on it. Saturn, in fact, is your best planet. It rules the fourth and fifth house simultaneously. So it does bring good fortune <coughs> to the zone in which it is transiting which is your workplace environment. 
Now, the constrictions that you feel there may actually give way to a better environment, maybe a new office space, whether that be for someone you work for or something you're going to create for yourself. That Saturnian influence can flip and work to your advantage if you don't resist what it's doing in your life. I've written up extensively on these three plans, are about 12 to 1500 words more at astrology.com.au. Pop on over there, have a look at how these three principles are playing out in your life. There's more detail on that. Have a look also at uh, the weeklies that I do that can give you more information and put together the jigsaw of what's happening as an overall path in life. And naturally, we have uh, the month by month and daily readings that are also going to plug in modularly to give you more color on these predictions. I look forward to your company throughout the coming 12 months. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop me a line if you need more personal attention. I'm happy to give you personal attention, Libra. And uh, stay safe for the new year. Happy New Year. And I'll see you in February. Bye-bye now.